In this video, we will demonstrate the follower application where a drone will follow a moving object, a person in this case, using the Drone Map Planner Cloud platform for drone management. The application works as follow. A person has a mobile device with the follower client application. The person first requests from the cloud a follower request. The cloud will search for available drones and will assign the closest drone to the person. Once a drone is allocated, the person will start the following mission, and the drone will thus take off and start following the person as he moves. Behind the scene the person has a mobile smartphone with follower client application installed, which sends in real time every new location to the cloud, which in turn, forwards that location to the drone in guided mode to follow the moving person. Let us move to field and see how the follower application works. The user now presses the follow me request button to allocate a drone through the cloud. The cloud processes the request and search for the drone that is closest to the location of the person. In this particular case, we have only one drone with ID equal to 2 which is assigned for this follower mission. Once the person presses the start mission button, the drone will take off and start following the person. As can be seen in the video, the drone moves towards the location of the person until it is on top of him. Once the start moving, the drone will follow him at a certain altitude. When the person moves, the mobile application updates its geolocation and send it at regular time interval to the drone map planner cloud platform that forwards the new user location to the drone as a guided waypoint. The drone operating in guided mode will follow every new location coming to it, and thus tracks the person motion. At this moment of the experiment, the mobile phone was turned in sleep mode, so the follower application stopped sending new locations to the cloud. As a consequence, the drone stopped following the moving person and maintained the location for which it received the last update. The user now reactivates the mobile phone, and then using the follower client application, he presses the command of stop mission. The stop mission is request is sent to the drone map planner cloud application, which will send to the drone return to launch command, which will make the drone return to its home location and land and then completes the follower mission. After the mission has completed the user can repeat the process by making another follow me request. In terms of performance of the follower application over the cloud, we have investigated the distance between the drone and the moving person for the video just illustrated. The following figure presents the variation of the tracking distance between the person and the drone over time. We recorded in a log file the geolocations of the drone and the person at instance when a new position is sent to the drone. Initially, the user was located at a distance 19.84 meters from the drone before it starts the mission. Once the user stared the mission and stayed a fixed position, the drone moved towards its location until the distance because 1.17 meters, almost at the same position of the person, but at a higher altitude of 10 meters. As the person was moving slowly, the distance was below 5 meters between second 11 and 21, and the user start running, there has been an increase of the distance up to 11.82 meters. It is clear that at instance 41, the drone reached the location of the person and stopped receiving new location, that is why the distance was tending to zero, and when the mobile app resumed, the person was already 35 meters away from the drone when it started to go back to its home location. The average distance between the drone and the person during the mission was 5.86 meters, without counting the initial state and the final state when the drone stopped receiving new location updates. Overall, the performance of the follower application is good and can be improved by increasing the speed of the vehicle, and also improving the network connectivity between the drone the person and the cloud.